Melvin B. Bleak was an American inventor, and he, like the famous Sikorsky, dedicated himself to the research and development of helicopter technology. However, unlike Sikorsky, who achieved great success, Bleak was relatively unknown. Yet, this does not mean that he was unsuccessful. Some aviation experts consider him to be a pioneer in helicopter technology and believe that he inspired other designers to a certain extent. Bleak was born in 1903 and studied aviation at the University of Michigan. In 1922, he was invited by a professor to research a new type of aircraft that could take off and land vertically and fly, a helicopter. Their research achieved some technical success. After graduating from university, Bleak did not give up on helicopter research. In 1926, he approached the Curtis Company to collaborate on the development of this new type of aircraft, which resulted in the later Curtis Bleak SX-5-1. The SX-5-1 was a very unique aircraft and already possessed the basic features of a modern helicopter. The Curtis Company signed a contract in 1927 to manufacture a full-size prototype, with four draftsmen assisting Bleak in completing the work. This helicopter had a small two-seat fuselage, with a metal tube frame supporting the engine and propeller above. Bleak wanted to use the Pratt & Whitney Wasp 9-cylinder radial engine, which could output 420 horsepower, making it a good aircraft engine at the time. However, Pratt & Whitney was very concerned about this and only provided the engine after Bleak signed a disclaimer. Even with the engine, the SX-5-1 still faced challenges. The engine was vertically mounted on the aircraft, but the helicopter needed to lay the engine flat, which affected heat dissipation. Bleak solved this problem by adding baffles between adjacent cylinders to change the direction of some of the airflow. Another key technology was the helicopter's propeller. Modern helicopters adjust the pitch of the propeller blades to change lift, and adjust the angle of the rotor disc to achieve horizontal movement. However, this is a very complicated mechanical system. How did the SX-5-1 solve this? The SX-5-1 used a four-blade propeller, with the blades constructed in a similar way to fixed-wing aircraft wings, with the part near the hub wider and the part near the tip narrower. The propeller was not driven by the hub, but by a transmission shaft driving an additional four sets of vertical small propellers below the blades. This method of propulsion was similar to later jet engines mounted on the tips of the rotor. To change the pitch of the blades, a control surface similar to an aileron was installed under the trailing edge of each blade. The pilot could change the angle of the control surface to adjust the angle of the blades. Early testing was conducted indoors, with the only comfort for Bleak being that, one of the three landing gear left the ground. This proved that his designed propeller could indeed produce lift, although the power was not enough. It was also discovered that the aircraft would spin uncontrollably, so an air rudder controlled by foot pedals was installed at the tail of the aircraft. It could deflect at a large angle to change the direction of some of the airflow and counteract the spin, allowing the pilot to change the heading. The SX-5-1 underwent outdoor flight tests in the early 1930s. According to Bleak's later recollections, he said the helicopter completed hovering, vertical takeoff and landing, and maneuvering in any direction. However, it had defects such as high noise and vibration. As a prototype for technical verification, it was considered qualified, but many improvements were needed to develop it into a practical model. The prototype experienced multiple mechanical failures during testing. In a test in the summer of 1931, a gear failure occurred again. Bleak considered replacing the flexible connection gears and placed an order with the factory for $90. However, to Bleak's surprise, he did not receive the gears. The Curtis Company, facing the Great Depression, considered the SX-5-1 to be a project with no economic return and refused to continue investing. Therefore, many people say that the SX-5-1 was an invention delayed by $90.